Hello, Paul here, and I wanna share with you how you can bring Illustrator content into Adobe Express, as well as how to take Adobe Express content and bring it back into Illustrator. All right, uh, we'll kick it off with Illustrator. You can see these assets export it out however you want. I like using the asset export panel. It just seems easy. I like seeing the names. I can just jump in there, name it, whatever I want. And then from there, I can export out all three of these as a ping file, JPEG, ping, GIF, you get the idea to your desktop. But also what I wanna do is I wanna take this lovely asset and make it a library item right in here in this little coffee folder. We'll drop that right in there because that's another way we could bring content in. And that means I can change it anytime I want and it's gonna change it in Adobe Express. So let's jump into Adobe Express right now. And yeah, I can go ahead and make an Instagram story and import those assets through photos. I could upload them. It's pretty straightforward doing things that way, but I'm gonna show you a better way. Since I'm making a brand, I would rather go out to my homepage, go to brands and create a brand. This allows me to reuse those logos as many times uh, as I want. So again, just uploading my brand, picking a color, to get us started and a font, you get the idea. It's like fill in the blank, give it a name. Also, you can upload as many logos as you want because chances are you're gonna want a white logo to go on a dark background, a dark logo to go on a lighter background, and we wanna pick different colors as well. I can do whatever I want in here, even invite other people to uh, use this brand. So this makes it really powerful if you're a graphic designer. Uh, but that looks pretty good to me. Last thing you want to do is jump in here and save it as your default. This makes it really easy to use. So now we'll just go back out at any point in time. We need to make that Instagram story, whatever reason, just grab uh, the template that you want and off to the side under design. There it is. Apply brand. Click right there. Oh, look what happens. Uses our color, uses our logo, right? Uses our font and we can play with that all we want, kind of swap in and change colors and change templates and reuse those graphics. And let's not forget about our library items. Let's check that out right down here. Again, our logos, if we want to use them, they're right at our fingertips. Go into libraries, go to the folder where you dropped it in and sure enough, there it is. If we update it, we're gonna have to drag it back in just so you know it's not, it's not necessarily linked. But what we can do at this point is any asset from any template or really anything, we could actually bring it back into Illustrator by downloading a PDF. Here's our PDF, just open that up in Illustrator. And sure enough, here are all of the assets. You can easily see how I can edit all that content. So that's how you could easily use Illustrator and Adobe Express together. It's awfully nice. Try it out for yourself. Thanks for watching.